Hi there, welcome to episode 03, Creating the Fluid Emitter. Let's start creating a geometry node to hold our emitter. In the object context, press Tab, type Geo, and press Enter twice. Rename the node as Emitter, and press the I key or double-click the node to dive inside. Now, in the geometry context, press Tab, type Circ, and press Enter twice. Change the primitive type to Polygon, modify the radius to 2.5 and 0.6, increase the divisions to 24. Now, we only need half of the ellipse, so change the arc type to open arc and modify the arc and angle to 180. At the moment, we can still see the raspberry. To visualize only the geometry inside the emitter object, you can go to the Ghost Other Objects menu and select Hide Other Objects. Let's modify the shape. In the viewport, press the S key to activate the selection mode. Press the Select Points option. Press the spacebar and the number 3 to set the front view. Select the middle point and press T. An edit node is added. Drag the Y axis handle or modify the Y value in the parameters. Let's leave it at minus 0.3. Now, to have a smooth deformation, go to the soft radius parameter and increase it to 1.5. Press the spacebar and the number 1 key to return to the perspective view. To give thickness to this line, let's use a polywire node. Click on the output port of the edit node, drag, press tab, type polywire and press enter. The size is ok, just increase the subdivisions to 6. To have more fluid at the sides of the stream, let's add a couple of spheres. Press tab, type sphere and press enter twice. Change the primitive type to polygon. Modify the size and the center and increase the frequency to 3. To add another sphere, let's use a mirror node. Drag the output port of the sphere node, press tab, type mirror and press enter. The default values are OK. To merge both streams, press Tab, type Merge and press Enter twice. Now connect both streams to the Merge node. We have a warning in the Merge node. It's not completely necessary, but let's fix it. Middle click on the Merge node. Here you can see there is a mismatch of attributes. Let's place an attribute delete node and select the two extra attributes in the left stream and the problem is solved. Ok, we have our geometry to emit from. To use this geometry as an emitter in a simulation, we have to convert it into a volume and points with attributes. For this purpose, we have the flip source node. Click on the output port of the merge node. Drag, press tab, type flip source and press enter. This node creates a volume named surface and a group of particles named, you guess, particles. To give it more volume, enable the shell thickness checkbox. If we press W in the viewport, we can see only the points. To visualize the points better, here in the viewport, press the D key to show the display options and go to the background tab and change the color scheme to dark. Now, with the Jitter CD slider, we can modify the points and if we want to animate the distribution, we can use an expression based on time. 
type $f divided by 10. Press the play button to check how the distribution changes over time. Using the particle separation parameter, we can control the number of generated points. This parameter should be linked to the particle separation of the simulation in the dynamic context. Now, if you middle click on the flip source node, you can see we have the group particles and the volume surface and the points only have the position attribute P. At the moment, we don't have any velocity attribute. The easiest way to assign velocity to the points is using an attribute wrangle node. Click on the output of the flip source node, drag, press tab, type AW and press enter. Now, Let's assign a constant vector to the velocity attribute by typing b at b equals open curly brackets 0, 0, 10 and semicolon. We are setting a velocity of 10 in the z direction. If you middle click on the node, you can see the points already have a velocity attribute. You can also check this in the geometry spreadsheet. And to visualize the velocity vectors, you can activate the display point trail button. In many cases, you would like to have random directions for the velocity. To achieve this result, just insert an attribute randomize and specify the attribute v to be randomized. For this project, we are going to work with constant velocity. Finally, let's place a null node at the end and rename it as out and go to the object level. Ok, we have our emitter and it has been converted to a volume with points with attributes. In the next video, we are going to create the fluid simulation. Thank you for watching this video, I'll see you soon in the next one.